up guys, it's Kai Copper here to make a video on how to do basic controls in DST keyboard. Let's get to it, shall we? So there's the usual, yes, there is the usual controls of WASD. So that is the controls on how to move. You may also use your mouse to move by clicking here, there, and everywhere. Alrighty, so this is... There's two ways of attacking. One, you just may simply click on them. Yeah, get get punched on. Yeah, punch them. Yeah, punch. You might also you get hammered too. Yeah, get hammered on. Yeah. Or you may actually... So, yeah, you may click on them to attack. The hostiles but those are just monsters like spiders naturally wanting to kill you but if it's something like pigs who don't naturally want to kill you however are considered innocent you will actually do something different you'll have to press control click and then you boom you, and then you punch him yeah he gets punched on you might also you get hammered too why not that mm -hmm. ouch oh he actually punched me nice Alright, so, another way you could do this is by also pressing F. Watch this. So when you press F, you also automat- Anyone- Yeah, so when you press F, anyone who is nearest to your character will- Will get punched on. Yeah, they will attack anyone who is nearest to your character. Because if you try clicking on while well, punching butterflies, which are considered non-hostile, non-monsters, you you're gonna have a hard time. However, if you just want to attack what is nearest to your character, that is your that is another benefit too. Yeah, just punch butterflies, no problem. And same thing with this guy. If you want to attack, well, you guessed it. You have to press Control F. So remember when F worked on this, and that only filters out and that prioritizes on monsters? This one? Now if you press Ctrl F, we'll prioritize on anyone who's nearest, non-hostile or not. So when I press this, yeah, Ctrl F, yeah, there you go, Ctrl F, he gets punched on. Ouch, I got hurt again. But Ctrl F also works here too. It's just that Control F attacks everyone, while well, letter F filters out the bad guys. The thing you could actually do is that you could actually press the numbers on your keyboard to access your inventory. So there is one, the axe, two, the pickaxe, three, the shovel over here that I'm holding, number four, the hammer. But you could also press number six if you want to inspect this. And if you want to eat items doing that, you could just press number seven, which is over here on the seeds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So press the number seven, and then you will eat your seeds. Now watch this. Let's say you have an axe, and you want to chop some wood. You could either one, click on it really fast and it'll chop faster, or you could do it automatically and press spacebar. It'll be slower but a bit more automatic. You may also do the same thing by pressing left click and just chop away. Same logic goes if you're mining boulders. Let's say let's use this regular boiler. It gives out nitrous, rocks, and flints. And this gold boulder, which gives out, instead of nitrous, it will give out gold. Ain't that swell. Same thing with the shovel. You may shovel up stumps, by the way. Stumps don't actually regrow back into trees. You could also shovel up saplings. You may also shovel up grass grass. You may even shovel up berries. And let's say 
you are you want to get the mushroom but it is the wrong type of day to harvest it you may also just shovel it up a uh, little known fact if it's a green mushroom it needs to be in the orange part of the day as I like to call eating there we go all right so there's also other act special actions so if you want to build your farm you could just click on the item let's say number three it won't work like that no no it will not work you have to click on the sapling and then right click on the floor and then that's how you drop and plant the sapling same thing with grass same thing with the berry bushes and if you want to replant your own trees and make an artificial forest you may do just that all right let's say you are in a situation where you want to start picking your sapling by clicking on it and but you end up clicking on the evergreen here instead you could of course rely on the space bar but you could also do this you could press letter Q to move your camera and then now it's ripe for the picking same logic when you press E and that's well Alrighty, if you're in this far of the video, let me tell you a little trick. If you want to map out everything, it's actually best that you walk around the edges, don't bother with the roads. And if you want to look at your map, press M. Did you also remember the tip on walking while clicking? Well, you may do the, you, you may actually do just that too. And I kind of encourage this if you're ever exploring, because here's a little trick that I will show you. Not much people know about this, but yet uh, it works. So you click while walking. If you see my cursor there, I'm clicking while walking. But if you want to look at your map, just do that and it will automatically move. As if you try to move on your camera, it literally moves the map instead. So if you want to move while looking at your map, just click and then you will have a slight brief. If your mouse has a scroll function, you may zoom in by scrolling in, zoom out, scrolling out, and that's well. Alright, let's say you're in a situation where you want to inspect something. You may pick up the item and inspect it from there. That works. But let's say you're in a situation where it won't give you that, and if you click on it, it just ends up attacking it, like so. Alright, let's say you don't want to do that. You're low health, you don't want to do that. You could actually press Alt. Press Alt and you will inspect things on the ground, like so. A very sharp rock. Each one is a tiny mystery. And of course, I hate spiders. <laughs> you could just press Alt and then no problem. Oh yeah, here let me show you a new function that you could do. If you press Control and then... Oh wait, no. If you press Shift and right click, not left, right, you may drop the whole stack on the ground while standing up. If you want to do the same logic but this time with individual, you press Shift and left Control and then you will drop only one. Usually when it's default, and then you press escape, the world will pause. Or you may press P when you do that. But I usually have mine disabled because I use P for a different function, but you could just pause the world like so. Keep in mind this is only available with admins, it will not work anything anywhere else. So that's how we end the video. Alrighty, so this is Sky Copper, wishing you a very good time. This is the part where I say goodbye now. And of course, I wish you all a great time. Bye-bye.